We are highlighting a bunch of possible solutions. There are many others, and it's time for them to debate them. I think where we all converge is on, on, on the need to uh, democratize work. Like there, there are people, and we've seen that in, in this crisis, who've uh, very courageously every day taken huge risks right, to, to be out there and to continue to do their work so that those of us who were lucky to be able to stay at home could be at home and, and, and be safe. We're not valuing all of them as much as we should based on the work that they do daily, that they did before and that they're doing now. And, and this is a moment when we have to acknowledge that and we have to change our value system to recognize the importance of the work being done by people right, across society. Uh, and then it's changing our system so that those who invest their labor also have a say in what happens in corporations. Uh, we cannot leave it only to uh, those who are the owners of the capital. We've seen the limit of that system. I've studied uh, organizations, corporations, social enterprises that simultaneously try to pursue social, environmental and financial objectives. So we have to revisit then the functioning and you know the structuring of the organization so as to enable the pursuit of these multiple objectives. And, and what I see in my research is that it is very complicated to pursue all of these objectives at once, especially when the environment around you still puts more emphasis on only one of those objectives, right? The, the financial performance. But what I see is that the organizations, the corporations, the social enterprises that are able to pursue these multiple objectives at once in a sustainable way, uh, very often have more democratic ways of organizing and making decisions.